what is up this is Christopher today I want to talk about gravy text on video gravy text on video is a one dollar and ninety nine cent universal application it will work on the iPad iPhone as well as the iPod touch as long as you are running iOS 6 and greater uh, should uh, work on any of your iOS devices so text uh, or gravy text on video is a video editing application for the iPad and allows you to add text, text animation, you can add uh, visual effects to your videos or whatnot. Um, uh, the only one thing you can't do is you can't edit audio on it. You can add audio, you just can't edit it. So it's kind of one of the negatives that I have. I actually have a couple of them, but uh, I'll go ahead and get into the application. So when I launch this, it will switch into portrait mode. Right now I'm in landscape. Uh, the way this app runs, it only runs in portrait mode. So let me go ahead and get this set up. All right, so you will notice up here at the top, I have a project that I've already been working on, and you'll notice a couple blank spots here. That's because I haven't added any other projects into this application. So one up here at the top, I wanna tap on a, a project that I've already worked on. I could open it or delete the current project, or I could go ahead and start a new one by tapping open and delete, or I could tap the plus sign down here at the bottom if I wanted to start a new project. And you can actually choose a couple themes, or actually quite a few themes. Um, you scroll through here, wedding celebration, take a break, uh, love, happiness, interview here, good fellows, uh, camping. Uh, I think that some of the really cool ones are the cold day in the city. Uh, Happy New Year was really good. I mean, all these actually look really nice. But I'm going to cancel that. And for today, I'm going to go ahead and just focus on a project that I've already started working on. This was a zip lining trip with my daughter. I want to talk about a few other things before I jump into that, though. Down here at the bottom left, you have an Instagram feed for the app. You can tap that and kind of look at the Instagram feed with gravy. Whoops. So let me go ahead and get back out of there. And then I'll tap the info tab over here. This is going to give you, a, you know, who makes the application you'll notice it's bucket labs right there what exactly it does you uh, swipe left or right to uh, move from page to page and it's just telling you a little bit about the application and some of the things that you can do with the app um, so it is a very powerful app I do want to say one thing this app has quite a bit of a learning curve to it some of the stuff does not seem quite as intuitive as some of the other video editing applications um, it's not that it's hard to use, it just takes a little bit of time uh, to get used to how things work within the app. So let me go ahead and tap open here. And you'll notice that I have a um, few things already in here when I swipe left or right on my timeline down here. You notice I have like the demo and I have the text there in the middle, uh, a cold day in city with a snowflake. These are things that I've added just for demonstration purposes. Uh, for this app. So up here at the top, you'll notice that you have the graphics in the movie. So the graphics, if I want to add stuff to a project that I'm already working on or a film that I already have, I, I do the graphics. And how I would do that is I'll tap this plus sign right here above my film strip or inside the timeline here. Tap that. I have template, text, clip art, image, and background. So I can go ahead and let's just tap text. If I want to add new text. So we've already done this. So let's just do for demonstration purposes, we will do total iPad here. I can change the different font by tapping the ABC button, button right there, button. That kind of sounds funny. Um, you can just tap on each one till you find a font that you like. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now. I could tap the color tab right here. And this will actually change the color of the font. And I can just swipe through that left or right. So let's just go with that purple. I can also change the opacity of the particular font. So if I, I don't want it to be uh, full opacity at 100%, I want to do like 50, we'll just leave it like, uh, let's go with about 75% right there. I could center it, I could tap this button right here, and what that does is centers it to the left, to the right, plus sign here if I want to add more text, uh, text or clip art. So let's go ahead and add the clip art, and I have this little nice little selection box with all this beautiful clip art inside the application. So we have a total iPad one here. So I'm just gonna add some sunglasses. Now you see the sunglasses look kind of small. So what I can do is kind of like an outward pinch and I can also adjust the, if I want to, you know, diagonal upside down, however I want to do it. I'm just kind of leave my fingers on the iPad. I'm kind of turning like a knob left or right with my thumb and my forefinger. So let's make that kind of big right there. 
and we just adjust it and you'll notice that it has a little line to show you where it's centered it's centered in the video you'll notice I can come up here and it's centered on that text or if I come down it'll center you know whatnot you'll notice those little yellow lines I don't know if you can see that uh, right about there you'll notice that line that runs um, north to south so I can kind of leave that there it's centered I can change the color of it just like I can with any of the other text so let's go ahead and go with the green I can delete something or I can move left or right that'll go between the glasses and the total iPad text I tap that so I'll just tap done up here in the upper right tap done and then now if I want to adjust something so right here let's go to the sunglasses so let me show you how you lengthen this how long you want to make this text and this um, graphic stay on the screen for so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap right here on the total iPad and the sunglasses and down here I have this little double arrow icon inside the box I'll tap that right here this is the starting point and right here is the ending point so currently you'll notice that the white part is on the starting point so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swipe to from the uh, right to the left and I'm gonna set the starting point on my video let's go with right about there and then I'll tap over here onto the ending point and you'll notice that as I move it the blue line gets longer or shorter so let's just go about right here we'll leave it for that long what the magnet does uh, if you're wondering the magnet connects the the total iPad text and the sunglasses so if I want to add like an animation and I'll give you an example of what I mean by that so let's tap done I'm gonna tap on here and I'm gonna tap the effects button down here or the FX button Tap that and then I get these nice little effects for build in and build out and I can choose if I want to let's say rotate it like that and then I'm going to say build out and for build out I want to zoom out just like the arrow say zoom in and then I will tap done all right so now when I scroll back here and put the playhead that's just a little white line right here that is the playhead right before the blue box. I don't know if you can see the blue box on the screen very good but it's a starts about right there it's kind of blending in with my daughter's jacket back there we'll tap the play button here to give you an idea there does the flip in and here comes the zoom what I do zoom out right about now and that's that so that's how you animate text or whatnot on the video so you notice like why does it look all blurry like this so I've added some other animations in here so I can tap on that and I could add these effects so if I want to do like 3D rotate with the different little themes that I've installed on here, uh, I can do the none, boom. Or I can come over here, let's see, if I want to, it's cold day in the city, let's trash that. And then I have the demo somewhere right there. Let's go ahead and trash that demo too. I don't like that on there. So we trash that. Now I just have nothing but the total iPad. Um, so let me go ahead and tap the movie tab up here at the top. Tap that movie tab. And now I can actually adjust my movie. I can go ahead and just see if I want to add another clip I can do camera import from library if I want to add audio I can go ahead and add audio so let's go ahead and add this 25 to life if I want to crop it I can change the aspect ratio I can leave it original I can go one to one I can go four three or I can go wide angle letterbox uh, 169 you also have a gear icon down here in the lower right so this will let you fully uh, control some of the video portion or aspect of the stuff I can do the intro let's do fade in from white we'll back up and then the outro we're going to do fade out to white we'll do uh, Darren Aronofsky uh, I don't know if you've ever seen Requiem for a Dream or Noah uh, it's what he's famous for he's famous with the fade to white uh, so you have some video stuff here you got your ratio again you have your video volume so I added music I could lower that volume to adjust it so it's not maybe I have audio on my video track and I want to have music that I've imported play along with the audio but I don't want the music to drain out the actual speaking portion of the video so I can kind of leave that volume way up and then turn this down maybe like 25% or 30% or something like that you get the idea you can change the theme so currently I have that JJ Abrams uh, lens flare looking stuff right there with the city lights but since it's snowy let's do the Merry Christmas theme and we're going to change that boom and then we're going to tap done and then it's going to apply that and as you can see now i've got the merry christmas stuff there just kind of add that little white effect to it 
when I go over now you see the fade in fade out to white kind of in the middle of the video so you have you know that right there I can go ahead and let me just put this at the beginning and play it and you can kind of adjust if you want to adjust this text and you can do all that you come up here to graphics and then we're going to scroll and so I have the Merry Christmas here and I can just tap on that and then I can adjust that, make it bigger, smaller. Again, if I want to change the colors of that, I can do the same thing. I can tap the little pencil icon and then I can change the color of that Merry Christmas. Let's change that to blue and then the Happy New Year to have that green. So, you know, boom. Now we've got blue and green with the white line. You basically change everything you want. I can do the effect. Like so if I scroll in, Merry Christmas just appears there. I'll tap on it, tap effects. And let's go ahead and do the fade in and then for the build out let's do the how about rotate out boom give it kind of like a little 3d text effect there uh, it's kind of cool looking so you get the idea the thing that I have to say that it's kind of a negative for the app I, it's not really a huge deal breaker but it is for me uh, that's the sharing icon up here at the top so I'm gonna show you this when I tap the share icon so you noticed I have preview. I can actually look at my video. Uh, you have Facebook, YouTube, if I can share them. Those work perfectly fine. I haven't had any issue. Save the camera roll. Works perfectly fine. But more sharing options. This is where my issue comes in. This app crashes every single time I try to do it. So you'll tap more sharing options. It's going to give you the little popover. It's going to say exporting. And then boom, it's going to go right back to my home screen. So I'm just going to show you here. As you can see, it's exporting my video, getting ready to open up the little share sheet so I can pick Vine, Instagram, Twitter, Vimeo, wherever it is that I wanted to share my video. But, boom, and it crashes. As you can see right there, live on television, it crashed. Open it back up and continue to edit again, whatever. Um, so it's kind of a downside to it, along with the learning curve. Uh, I consider that, eh, and you know, it's not like I said, it's not as intuitive as some of the other video editing applications. Um, but once you start using it, the stuff, it's really simple to use. It's just, it just took me, you know, an hour or something to figure out to be like, okay, yeah, I see how that works. That makes sense. But other than that, and then the crashing, um, is it worth two bucks? Yeah, definitely worth two bucks, especially because it's universal application. So you get it both on the iPhone and the iPad. But uh, as long as you save it to your camera roll, you can always share it to another app. Uh, via the camera roll anyway so I would consider that like a huge deal breaker and I wouldn't say avoid it for the two bucks but you know if you want to share directly from the app that's something that uh, hopefully the developer can fix in an update or something but anyway if you like this video found it helpful please do me a favor and give this a thumbs up I appreciate it I do want to mention one last thing about this before I forget uh, all the videos and audio files on your iPad have to be on the iPad you can't pull anything from the cloud so you can't pull if you're using iTunes match you couldn't pull the music from iTunes match and import it into the app you'll actually have to go download the app or the um, mp3 file or audio file and then you can import it into the app one other thing about the audio that I consider negative you can't adjust the audio so if you have a track or an audio track or music track that you want to start at a certain point in the the track you can't do that so I consider that like a huge um, turn off for the app because you know maybe I don't want to start the audio track right at the very beginning maybe I want to do it like in the middle of a certain song or something that you know goes with a short you know 15 second Instagram type video um, you know and I, I share a lot to Vine and Instagram and being able to start uh, audio track at a certain point of the song I consider that something to be um, like a huge selling point and not being able to do that is like a huge turn off for me but uh, other than that, I give this probably, I would rate it like a three stars out of five if I had to choose because of the few issues that I had, the learning curve, the crashing, and then not being able to edit the audio. But other than that, two bucks, give it a shot. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.